This is the Long Row 18 year old single malt whiskey. It's a limited edition and it's fully peated. Now this is from the same distillery group as um, Springbank, uh, but it's part of the same family and yet very different in style. It's very complex on the nose. Long Row, remember, 18 year old. Very, very spicy and lots of fruit in the background as well. Now this is all sherry cask mature, but they don't actually say which style of sherry. So I guess from the complexity of the nose that it moves from one style of sherry barrel to another. Very, very spicy and fruity. The very first thing to tell you is that to unpack the flavors in the mouth, I almost have to chew this whiskey. It's absolutely huge. And then as it goes down, yes, the, the fruit, all, oh gosh, all those sort of Lexia raisins and things, they all um, reveal themselves on the palate, but there's spice there as well. There's cinnamon and nutmeg and mace, and it's really warming. And as you can tell from the conditions up here on the Kintyre Peninsula, that's something that people will be looking for. really huge flavours. Now I'm just going to uh, have a look at the view while I just get a little bit of water. I'm just going to add literally a couple of drops of water. This is a very big whisky and it's probably a after dinner whisky uh, as I'm showing it to you. But what happens with the water? It brings a huge sweetness out to out of the whiskey. And obviously that's going to be there because of the dried fruit from the sherry cask. But it makes it much more accessible, still brooding, still intense, uh, but very, very drinkable. And as I say, the whiskey that we're tasting, the Long Row 18 year old, fully peated. Am I going to tell you to have this with food? Well, when I was first tasting it, I was really thinking about that, but you know, something like tiramisu, or a really thick chocolate mousse, or even a venison casserole, this would be absolutely special with. And when you think about the complexity that I've just been trying to describe to you, just look at this area, and you've got to understand where all of this complexity comes from. See you next time.